Australia's Royal Australian Air Force operates a formidable fleet of 24 FA-18F Super Hornets and 12 EA-18G Growlers, both stationed at RAF Base Amberley in Queensland. These aircraft, acquired to bridge the capability gap between the retirement of the legacy FA-18AB Hornets and the full integration of the F-35A Joint Strike Fighter, form a cornerstone of Australia's air combat and electronic warfare capabilities. With growing strategic tensions in the Indo-Pacific, particularly in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, the maintenance and upgrade programs for these aircraft are critical to ensuring operational readiness and interoperability with allies, particularly the United States. Supported by a robust partnership with Boeing Defense Australia, and bolstered by a recent U.S. foreign military sale, these programs enhance Australia's defense posture while fostering local industry and strengthening bilateral ties under frameworks like the ANZUS Treaty and AUKUS. The sustainment of the FA-18F Super Hornet and EA-18G Growler fleets is managed through the Air Combat and Electronic Attack Sustainment Contract, led by Boeing Defense Australia since July 2016. Initially valued at $600 million for five years, the contract has been extended twice, most recently in January 2024, bringing its total value to $1.2 billion with support secured until 2030. This program encompasses engineering, maintenance, and project management, ensuring the aircraft remain mission ready. Over 350 jobs in Queensland are sustained through this contract, with more than 90% of its value spent locally, particularly in Southeast Queensland. Local industry partners such as TAE Aerospace have significantly expanded their role, increasing their share of deep maintenance for the General Electric F4114 engines from 25% to 85% over five years. This shift enhances Australia's self-reliance in maintaining its fleet, reducing dependence on foreign support. A notable challenge occurred in December 2020 when an FA-18F incident involving a crew ejection during takeoff led to a temporary grounding of both fleets due to F-414 engine concerns. Following investigations, maintenance protocols were refined and operations resumed swiftly, underscoring the program's adaptability. Complementing domestic efforts, a U.S. State Department-approved foreign military sale announced on June 16, 2025, provides up to 2 billion USD, approximately 3 billion Australian dollars, in sustainment support for Australia's Super Hornet and Growler fleets. Notified to Congress by the Defense Security Cooperation Agency, this deal includes critical logistics and maintenance items such as engine components, radar and sensor systems, software updates, electronic warfare equipment, and depot-level support services. With Boeing as the principal contractor, this package ensures the RF's 24 Super Hornets and 12 Growlers, restored to full strength after the delivery of a replacement Growler in February 2023 following a 2018 engine fire incident, maintain peak readiness. The sale reinforces Australia's role as a key U.S. ally in the Indo-Pacific, enhancing interoperability for joint operations and exercises like Talisman Sabre, while supporting the U.S. defense industrial base through long-term logistics contracts under the Foreign Military Sales Program. The FA-18F Super Hornet, operated by No. 1 Squadron, is a twin-seat, twin-engine multi-role fighter renowned for its versatility in air superiority, strike, and close air support missions. Equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar, advanced electronic countermeasures, and a diverse weapon suite, including AM-9X Sidewinders, AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapons, and JDAMs, it excels in joint and coalition operations. The EA-18G Growler, operated by No. 6 Squadron, shares the same airframe but is optimized for electronic warfare. Equipped with ALQ-2118 wideband receivers and ALQ-99 jamming pods to detect, jam, and suppress enemy radar and communications. Armed with AGM-88 anti-radiation missiles, the Growler enables allied platforms to operate in contested electromagnetic environments, providing a strategic edge in networked warfare. 
Both aircraft are integral to Australia's air combat strategy, working alongside the F-35A and emerging platforms like the MQ-28A Ghost Bat. Upgrade programs further enhance these capabilities. The Royal Australian Air Force is exploring the adoption of the Block 3 configuration for its Super Hornets, aligning with U.S. Navy standards. This upgrade includes the advanced cockpit system with widescreen displays, the distributed targeting processor network, and tactical targeting network technology for improved data handling and integration with long-range weapons like the AGM-158C LRSM and AGM-158B JASMER. The infrared search and track system, featuring Lockheed Martin's IRST-21 sensor in a redesigned centerline fuel tank, enables passive detection of stealthy targets, though reliability issues during U.S. Navy testing may delay full integration. New radar-absorbent coatings reduce the Super Hornet's radar cross-section, enhancing survivability. The RF participates in the U.S. Navy's Spiral Upgrade Program to ensure configuration alignment, with upgrades implemented locally by Boeing. For the Growler, the $2 billion Australian dollars Project AR5349 Phase 6 Advanced Growler, approved in February 2023, introduces the next-generation jammer to replace the ALQ-99 alongside sensor enhancements and infrastructure upgrades at RAF Base Amberley and Delamere Air Weapons Range. These upgrades ensure the Growler's dominance in electronic warfare against evolving threats. Initially acquired as a bridging capability, the Super Hornet and Growler fleets are now expected to serve until at least 2030, with potential extensions to the mid-2030s due to F-35 program delays and rising regional tensions. Australia's strategic environment, marked by China's assertiveness in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, underscores the importance of these aircraft. As a key U.S. ally under the ANZOS Treaty and AUKUS partnership, Australia leverages these platforms to contribute to collective deterrence and regional stability. The sustainment and upgrade programs not only maintain operational readiness, but also foster local industry growth, with significant investments in Queensland's workforce and infrastructure. Challenges remain, including the IRST's reliability issues and the need for ongoing budget commitments, but the programs position Australia to maintain a robust air combat and electronic warfare capability in an increasingly contested Indo-Pacific.